Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. My name's Blake Cousins. Breaking news, North Korean President Kim Jong-un is threatening to send missiles, nuclear weapons, to hit the United States of America. And one of the places he's threatened is a place I live right here in the state of Hawaii. And I'm pretty concerned about this, along with millions of people around the world. We have special correspondent from Los Angeles, Dr. J. Andy Elias. We're going to talk about Kim Jong-un's plans to attack the United States, or are we going to prevent it and attack him first before anything gets going? What do you think we should do, Dr. J. Andy Elias? Blake, thanks again for the kind introduction. You know, I, I agree with you. I, too, am worried because on top of threatening to send missiles to Hawaii, he's threatening to send missiles to California, here where I live, as well as Alaska. Furthermore, King jong Un is doing his best to emulate his father. He's upset that people don't take him seriously because he's such a young age. He wants to end a ceasefire with South Korea, which could ignite another war and then have everybody jumping in, causing a global war. And that's what I fear the most. You know, we're kind of hopeful when, you know, the power was transferred to his son. We're thinking, wow, this kid kind of seems like he might be mild mannered, have a good sense of humor and maybe uh, help his own people out and stop his nuclear ambitions. But no, he's he's going off. We're putting embargoes and, you know, he's not getting food. People are starving. This guy's as dangerous. Well, he's like a kid playing with matches, you know, crazy. And now this guy, you know, he has nuclear weapons at his disposal. It is quite astonishing. And I don't know why governments, especially the United States and other countries, just let's just take this guy out or what are they worried about? I don't know. Maybe he has communist allies, but you are right when you said this kid is playing with matches because he is. He's in his early 20s. He took over the dictatorship of his father who was in his 60s running a sovereign country with nuclear missiles he defied the united nations several times when they told him to stop testing he went ahead and tested they told him not to test his missiles he fired those up as well now he wants to end the ceasefire i think he wants to make a statement to the world that look i'm dangerous you guys don't listen to me i will prove my might i think you're right we should do something to prevent him. He said he wants to launch a preemptive strike. Let me reiterate that. Preemptive strike. He wants to strike us without being provoked. That's the most dangerous type of person to have. And the U.S. response is, oh, we're going to get our missile defense ready. Well, you know, things don't work according to plan all the time i don't want to be under any risk waiting for you know them to launch and then we're gonna shoot missile defense and hopefully we bring these ballistic missiles down but you know what does he want does he want to commit suicide like his dad i think his dad was a whack job his favorite movies were like friday the 13th and you know the godfather well the godfather is a good movie but friday the 13th and freddy krueger were his favorite movies you know, these guys are insane and we're going to wait for them to pull the trigger. That does not make any sense. What what is it? Do they just we got to have a good reason. We got to lose millions of people of lives before we do anything. You know, the sad thing is, Blake, is I don't think the U.S. has the footing that we used to have around the world anymore. When 30 years ago we used to say jump, the world said how high. Now we have emerging powers such as China and Russia. North Korea borders China, and if they fall into a war, we don't know which side they're going to jump in. The China's going to jump in. And if they come to their defense, they have one billion with a B more people than we do in the United States. Their army is larger than the United States as a whole. That's a scary thought. And that's probably why we haven't stepped in and done anything and are taking more of a defensive position because I think we need to worry about the bigger consequences around the world. But you made a very good point. I don't want to sit around and wait for a missile to come here and hope that our missile defense systems take it down because at this point, that's all they're saying is good. we're going to do. Well, along with hacking from China and Iran, you know, they're getting it so mastered where 
if they do launch missiles, maybe they already have a plan that they could already hack our missile defense system, shut it down, disable it, so there is no, uh, you know, protection whatsoever. This is some kind of, you know, hell on earth if it does get going. China is a massive country with the massive military combined with the fourth largest military, North Korea. You know, they could devastate possibly the U.S. if we don't act now. You know, you are definitely right, and we already know that this dictator is dangerous. He lets his own people die every day just to, sh just to show that he's the man. He prevents medical aid and food from coming into his borders to let his civilians get the help they need. He just does everything in defiance just to make a point, and that's the wrong way because innocent people are dying, and he's willing to take this even further than that. We are dealing with one of the most dangerous people in the world, and the people that follow him without thinking are who we have to worry about just as bad as we worry about King jong Un. Absolutely, Di. I really want to thank you for joining us at Third Phase of Moon and sharing your opinion on what Kim Jong-un is up to in the United States and its response. Anytime, Blake. Thank you. If anybody's listening out there or watching the show, thumbs up below if we think we should take Kim Jong-un out right now. And if you've captured anything amazing in regards to UFOs, you could contact Third Please. Phase of Moon via Skype or Facebook. Awesome. My name's Blake Cousins, and we'll see you again next time. Third. Phase of Moon.